Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sunday, where we sail the sunless sea with me, Barden, and Lady Sakura. Okay, we're going to leave Avid Horizon here. Our next port of call will be Port Parmesan, where we can stock up on fuel, which is kind of needed at the moment. We're hoping that Mount, not, uh, Mount Nomad is not hanging around this area, which it sometimes does. I'm also going to try to keep our terror down as we venture across. So really hoping, yeah, we're going to have to speed up, I think. There we go, that's good. Just really don't want to be building too much terror that is avoidable. Arms in reach, there's brimstone on the wind. Home, warmly lit windows, company, peace. Thoughts of home come at the strangest times. Snow sweeps down from the north. The ship's engine labor against it. It's burning our fuel rather quickly. But we're going to get into Port Parison soon. And then there'll be plenty of fuel for us there. Okay, let's chat with the, with the local folk. Chat to the port folk about the Brimstone Convention. There was a revolution in hell. The aristocracy devils fled here. Here they fought in exile. A shrug and a curse. They don't do us any harm. They stay up there. We stay down here. The bell's fighting itself. It's good for us all, isn't it? Probably is, buddy. Um, let's dig among the ruins to see what we get. Oh, I forgot about the terror side of this thing. Perhaps the villagers left valuables behind. You could pick over the remains to see what you might find. You Google. A diary of dreams. One wall of a barn stands, still stands. Someone has gouged words into it. One of the lesser alphabets of hell. An account of a dream of the usurper son. It's gear teeth. Sung, sunk deep into the roots of time, of its servants, in robes of gold and amber, of its beauty and its lies. Okay, not going to dig there anymore. We will explore the island, I guess. Tangles of thorns scrubbed climb the rocky slopes of the volcano. A shape hurries up the path to you. Excuse me. Excuse me, just a moment of your time. Souls, my friend. A masked figure entreats you. Souls, do you have souls? I miss them so. Let me pay you for them. Sorry, no souls today. I see, I see, I understand. Perhaps another time? You bring me souls? I might be here. Or perhaps I will not. Okay. Uh, so that's all of that done. Go to the shops. Let's get some fuel on board. Okay. Then go another one. Then we go to daily bread. We'll buy some supplies as well. Because... We don't want to run out of those. Alright, and then we can leave here. So we have 56 fuel, so we're doing pretty well on that now. 
We're going to have to dive soon to get into Anth. Apparently, when we get to deeper water, so. Which I'm not sure when that's going to be. It should be soon. Let's head it this way, little. There we go. Please don't let there be a massive spider. Okay, and we pop. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, delivering a letter. So this is the letter to Ant. Okay. So we just go here and go to Ant. Right, so let's um compile a port report. The Adam Lee will want stories of this place. Rumors and extrapolations. Access to Ant is restricted by type of sharpness. Those who are sharp in the ears do not necessarily mingle with the sharp tongued. As for the inhabitants who are sharp throughout their full bodies. They don't circulate much. There is said to be a cavern, broad and shallow floored. They are the perfectly sharp, grow old together. They are not capable of anyone else's company anymore. At least that's what you're told. And you can hardly go and ask. At any rate, they are more like growing crystals than like people, slowly expanding and bonding with the rock. Okay. Then we could consider our own condition, but I want to deliver. I don't want to read it. Be rid of the love letter to Anth. Perhaps some things are better left. Uh, no, I don't. Leave it untouched. Okay. So we're in Anth now. So why can't I deliver the letter? Let's see. Let's just check the. Let's check our journal. There's something I'm missing. Deliver a letter. You have an important letter to deliver. Deliver a letter to Aunt. Unopened and pristine. A letter for the, from the almost dead man professing his undying love to one in Aunt. Okay. The almost dead man hopes to end a complicated life with a clear conscience. Right, so why are we not allowed to actually deliver the letter? I don't want to read it. I don't want to be rid of it. I'm in Anth. Do I need to maybe consider my own condition? Should you go sharp, I have you already taken on sharpness that you now regret. Learning and rumor. Consult the woman with the cubicle eyes. Learn how to accept the blessing that Ant offers. Determine what is the best for yourself. Whose companionship you seek in the bubbled caverns. Oh, maybe this is how we do it. Yeah, I think this is how we're supposed to do it. Surrender your join the society, diplomats, saints, and cold blooded tyrants. Take on a proud indifference to tokens, fraternize with spies, assassins, professional poisoners, and those who need. Okay. Um, breed less often and more purely. Take on the companionship of divers. Flourish in the grind. Diminish passion. Promote hygiene. Perfect performance. Undergo cumulative tongue. Uh, min Roger skeleton. Let your skin be clear as water and hard as armor. Cut away your sharpness. Okay. Let's see this to start. It isn't easy to go sharp, as the Antians do, but most who come here find themselves 
desiring the condition. Sooner or later, nights of meditation, the environment is a help, but you must also prepare your mind and your will. Going sharp means giving up many sensations. Okay, we take, took on a single sharpness. We need... Um, no more than six. We have one. We need two mother salt for that. Um, we can do this, go sharpen the spleen or the liver. Let's see. Join the Society of Diplomats, Saints and Cobla the Tyrants. Let me check my journal to see are there any hints on where I should deliver because I don't want to mess this up. Okay, you have an important message to deliver. Um, to Aunt Dying Grace. Clear. No, there's nothing nothing there so let me maybe there's something on their anth instead it's certainly possible no it's not even oh here is here so um, how well do you know Rosina you have looked around ants at most chambers how much sharpness you can endure. Okay, so, oh, drop the pen on the round there. Right, let me just quickly check this. Google is your friend in these situations. You can help us out this time as well. Okay. not really helping me at the moment. Maybe the wiki is going to be better. Mirror's challenge on the pro delivering a farewell letter. That's the hideaway. It's no good. No, it doesn't, it doesn't really help me, I have to say. We're in Ant. So the other ones, I just had to go to the place. And then deliver it, and then that was it. So what's going on here? Oh, we have to visit Rosina in her chamber. In Ant's sharpness of spleen, one. Okay. So I think this is what... Um, where are we here? Go sharpen the spleen. Right, I think this is going to do it for us. Okay. So all is not lost. 
Surrender your capacity for anger. Join the Society of Diplomats, Saints and Cold-Blooded Tyrants. The Venus Salon. Descend into the Ant Chamber, reserved for the, those who flourish at the spleen. The stone of the chamber is veined with red. Some members of the Venus Salon wear clothes that reveal the midriff, so that one can see the telltale points of the crystal form under their skin. It is a party. It is a party game here to take turns reading aloud offensive letters to the London newspapers and something missives from home. They complete at not caring it at the least. Or in the least, sorry. Okay, so that's cool. So now we can visit her. Great. She is both healer and patient, convalescing in an ice patient, sorry, convalescing in an ice bath among the sharp spleened. The Antians speak of her often. Ice crystals. The air gets chillier as you approach, and there are patches of frost on the walls. Rosina's Chambers The cavern is crowded. In the centre is a bathtub full of ice, in which sits a woman of, in obvious state of illness. Several Antians attend her, one with deft, clear fingers. Then there are a number of other people attending, who mostly talk among themselves, but sometimes turn to watch Rosina. Okay, we don't need to do any of that stuff. Present a love letter to Rosina. A wisp of steam curls from her neck at the mention of the author's name. This must be done delicately. A very chancy challenge. 45%. Fingers crossed we can do it. Um, actually, not just fingers crossed. Oh, we can't even do that. I was going to... I think I can actually make a save, right? Yeah, let's make a manual save. Because I don't want to screw this up. Really don't. Okay, overwrite that. I only got 26% on that. Uh, what else can we do? Find out more. Find out what all the unlockers are for. That's 67% chance for that. Let's come back here and see what happens. Oh, great. We didn't need to save scum. That's nice when that happens. Love letter carefully consumed. Rosalia will not deny the letter, but at your warning she takes every precaution. Her nurses prepare fresh ice for the tub. One sings a somber hymn. Another transcribes a letter onto separate pages, each sentence to be administered as the burning lady's disposition allows her to receive them. Zina reads slowly. She looks in your direction. Her expression is fierce, as though you are talking in church. You step away into the other room until she is ready for you to return. Already you have seen enough. The page in her hand curls uh, languorously from the heat. Okay. So, uh, delivering news of a lover's warm response. Okay, and then... Right, so that's done. That's good. And I want to do this. I want to find out um, about all the unlockers. But I think we're going to do that one next time. So hope you've enjoyed this one and hope to see you all next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the link.